So today what we're going to be doing is looking at a HDMI KVM adapter over Ethernet. And so we're going to use this little box, or two boxes actually, to take the information from that computer and project it into the other room. So welcome to Technodad Life and my name is Jeff and we make technology simplified. And so I have a stack of stuff piling up that I've been getting and so I wanted to show everybody this sort of AVX access kit. And so basically I've been wanting one of these for a little while and so what this does is I can hook it up to a computer in this room and then run it over Ethernet and basically as long as your Ethernet cord is up to about 280 feet, I think, or meters, uh, then project it into another room. Now this one is different in that I do believe, and I'm not quite sure, we'll have to go over it as we do it, that this one can actually, you can control, so if we start here, and go into the other room, we can hook a keyboard up in the other room and actually control the computer in this room. So let's take a look and see what's in the box. So this is a HDEX80 KVM from AVXS. So they did send this to me re to review, but they did not pay me. So let's open it up and see what's in the box. So we have our directions and our two boxes. And as you can see here, one is labeled transmitter and the other one is receiver. So what we have in the box is one power supply, HDMI cable, and some mounting brackets and screws. So if we look at the extender, it actually is metal, very nice. HDMI out, power adapter, ethernet, two USB two type uh, ports, where we can hook up a keyboard and a mouse. Now on the transmitter, again, we have HDMI, power supply, and then on the back we have our USB to PC and our ethernet port. Now what's interesting is these both have power supplies or power ports but only one power supply. And I believe that is it can go either direction. I'm gonna actually have to look at the directions to find out how to set this up. Now in the directions here, they have the power supply on the transmitter, which makes sense. So let's set up this puppy. So what we're gonna do is hook up this box to that computer with a USB cable and we're going to take the HDMI, stick it in there, and then plug it in. So we have our 250 feet of cable hooked up. We have our box hooked up, and it seems to work. It seems to work really well. Uh, you just need a separate keyboard and mouse. It doesn't seem to work just with the mouse. So for me, I have one of these mini keyboards and it does have a mouse pad on it. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem to work with this, so I have a separate mouse and that does work fine. So this is a cheap way of having a computer in one room and then in another room, you just have your keyboard, mouse, and your monitor. Uh, this is just like what Linus Tech Tips did, but a much cheaper version of doing that. So that's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.